For years, the Riverside Road Course was a fixture on the NASCAR calendar. In fact, the narrator of our next film says this 1963 event was the first 500-mile road race in NASCAR history. While in truth, Riverside staged its first 500-mile NASCAR stock car race back in 1958. But the 63 event is memorable for the fact that some of America's top road racers were there to mix it up with the best of the stock car drivers. Riverside, California. 60,000 enthusiastic fans line this twisting 2.7 mile road course to watch stock cars and crews from all racing circuits tackle it together. It'll be a long Sunday afternoon for all of them. 500 miles long. The first 500 mile stock car road race ever run. Arnelli Jones heads up the USAC contingent. Fireball Roberts, one of the top NASCAR drivers. And Dan Gurney, road race champion on his home ground. 11 o'clock, race time. And it's perfect racing weather in Southern California. Eight Chevys, six Mercuries, five Dodges, and two Plymouths. Each one heading into the first turn. Each one looking for an opening. Pushing, jostling, hustling, trying to scramble up through the pack. They'll be at it all day. 185 times around this course, if they last. Twisting, turning road course, it winds uphill and unwinds downhill. Early in the race, two men show exceptional skill and daring. Carnelli Jones, Mercury number 15, and Dan Gurney, Ford number 28, jam their way through the pack. Is 95 miles an hour. Too hot for some. On lap 27, Danny Weinberg loses it. Flipping and twisting, Jim Pascoe, number 41 Plymouth, dives over the rail. His car is demolished. Pascoe himself walks away with only a tear in his shirt. At the halfway mark, 10 cars are out of the race. For the remaining 34, work goes on frantically. There are still 250 tough, torturous miles to go.
lengthen and blacken as the race grinds on. When high-speed driving gets too dangerous, the caution flag comes out again. Just four laps from the end of the race. In all, 27 laps to run under the caution flag. car and Dan Gurney lead the remaining 21 cars across the finish line for the checkered flag. Seven are Ford. Gurney and his fastback Ford Galaxy averaged 85 miles an hour in winning the first 500 mile stock car road race ever run. You know, it's really no surprise that Gurney won. By that time, Dan was one of the world's most accomplished road racers, winner of the 62 French Grand Prix. Gurney would later become the first of only two men to win in each of the four major categories of closed course racing. Formula One, Indy cars, sports cars, and stock cars. You know who the other one was, right? Mario Andretti later duplicated that feat. And given the specialization of modern day racing, it is unlikely their accomplishment will ever be equaled.